In the movie business they use bounce cards to make the light amazing. Hey everyone, uh, Jono of Nornware here, and it's time again for some good old rock and roll. No, it's time again for some Space Beast Terrified development videos. Um, recently I joined, um, a little bit embarrassed about this, but recently I joined one of my community servers, well, one of the existing community servers for Space Beast Terrified, um, uh, which is a great bunch of people. Um, I don't know why I... I don't know why I've taken so long to get like on Discord and, and you know get into that sort of whole modern aspect of gaming. But um, I guess thank you to BS for dragging me, kicking and screaming onto Discord. One thing led to another. Now I'm on this server, uh, you know, it's been about a week or so, um, actually talking to my, uh, you know, in real time in voice chat, talking to my, uh, to some of my users and, and, you know, playing games with them and, you know, getting tons of bugs report, bug reports and things like that. And it's been, it's been really positive. Um, one of the most positive things I think for the state of the game uh, has been uh, uh, I was actually able to run the game in the debugger while they were playing some really, um, I guess you could say, representative online matches with people from all over the world trying to play together. And uh, we were able to, in the debugger, reproduce a crash that has hopefully the crash that has been haunting us for a long time. Um, and uh, this is one of those, you know, uh, embarrassing hat in hands moments. Well, it was when when I saw what the problem was, and it was it was a buffer overrun. You know those things that are always the cause, right? And you know what happens if you run over the end of the memory which is allocated, or, well, not in this case, you know pre-allocated, and then everything else goes to crap. So yeah, we were running out of bullets. Basically, that's what happens. Um, there there are bugs that are artifacts of how the networking functions that causes insane fire rates at times, which is terrible. But um, one of the outcomes of that is also that um, it's very easy to overflow the buffer of how many, how many, uh, how many bullets we got basically in the simulation. For, for reasons, um, these, these pools are fixed. As you can see, here's the, um, sorry, that's the immutable part. The mutable part of the simulation here, I can get it on screen. Yeah, um, here are all these, pools, pre-sized pre object pool pools of, of all of us, the things. And this is a thing called, it's called a bolt because of Warhammer 40k. Uh, bolts, uh, you fire bolts from your bolter. Don't sue me, please. Um, and M pool max bolt is what? It's 64. There are 64 bolts max. Um, once I saw that there was, a, there was an assertion there, because in debug I did get an assertion, uh, we tried to repro by everybody standing in a really long corridor with long sight lines to, you know, the idea was to keep your bullets alive as, as long as possible. And everyone got the razor and everyone started firing and we immediately hit it, you know. And it appears from everything I've seen since then um, that it's, it's very likely that this uh, is, is, is one of the most significant crashes that seems to happen. And of course, that's stupid. Why, why would I even allow that? Why wouldn't I have a resizable pool and growing arrays and all that kind of stuff? That gets into the nitty gritty of the way that the um, client server um, netcode works, because basically uh, the host is serializing in a very nasty way, uh, this whole thing and throwing it across the wire to everybody. Um, so that's the reason for the fixed size pools. Uh, I want it to be some kind of manageable size that doesn't grow. It, it needs to be, you know, this much or smaller um, with a lot of, you know, run length encoding of zeros and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm not looking at a fix in terms of, oh, I want to change the way it works, um, but potentially in increasing the size of the pool or alternatively checking for the edge case that, oh, there are no more bullets left. I'm not going to let you fire. We'll see which one, which one is the best one. Yes, recording. Um, so first of all, um, I want to look at the bolts themselves uh, in terms of could they be compressed? Because that's always great. You want you always want to see like how 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 large is your state and can you make it smaller? Uh, we're gonna start by looking at. Um, I think there are some tests. Tests. Yeah, we're gonna see some stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna start the game. Let's 
apparently we're going to compile the game first. I was probably on a branch for doing the uh, testing. Yep. So what's interesting here to me is what is the size in bytes of the mutable? It's 18 kilobytes. Uh, bytes per section. Yep. Uh, so sections. Sections. Probably can't see this font. 36 sections. 36 times 512 bytes is enough data to describe the whole um, the whole thing. So remember that 18288. I'm going to remember that. Let's let's copy that and uh, put it up here under pool overflow 1828 uh, pre changes bytes m mutable t before changes good so uh, what i want to do first of all is see if if i'm going to go the route of um, increasing the number of uh, possible bolts uh, really only happens the problem really only happens when you have four players and maybe a lot of sentries going on but you know 64 bullets should be enough for anyone. I mean, seriously, apparently not. Uh, so let's look at the actual thing. So a bolt, what is a bolt? Uh, a bullet. It's, it's, it's got a vector, describes its motion, or yeah, its speed, uh, position in 3D space. That's, those things are required and has a bolt owner, which is this, which is an, packed apparently into 32 bits is the index of it, and the sentry A. I'm sure you like that one. That's Canadian code style, I think. Again, Tobias Carlson turned me on to that one um, because I live in Canada. I just like, instead of is sentry, you want it to be sentry A. I think that's funny. Anyway, bit packed. So that's 32 bits. So we've got um, 12 bytes, 12 bytes, 4 bytes, and another 4 bytes. That could probably be packed in an interesting way. Let's do this. So now we got 2 times 32 bits there. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we want to put this into all of this into 32 bits. So maybe 10 bits, 10 bits, 10 bits. And then, yeah, this only, let's think about this. This only needs one bit. Is the owner a sentry? What's the owner a sentry? That's for, that kind of information is for tracking, like who killed who and who, who shot what scientist, whatever. Um, so that's, that's an, a bit is fine there. Owner index, 10 bits. That's 1024, right? Oh, God. Uh, programmer. So one left shift ten. That's ten twenty four. That's not enough, because that index is is if it's not a sentry, it's used for a hero. So it's zero to three. That's fine. But if it is a sentry, it's used for a, a map offset. And map offsets. Cells size. This is the size of the whole map. It's ten eighty nine. So I need eleven bits there. But that's fine. I think eleven bits is. What's 11 bits? Oh, you idiot. 11 bits is 2048. So that is fine. Um, and then just equally distributing 1024 ammo type. There are only four ammo types. Energy is never that much. So I think that's, that's the way to go. It's like you get... Yeah, that's going to cover the, um, the ranges we need. And we just saved four bytes per bolt times 64, four times 64, <laughs> four times 64, two, that's 256. Always good because anything else will, you know, it's, it's, it's within what I call a section, which is the 512 bytes that I split, pieces that I split the whole mutable into. Um, but it will be zero, zero padded and, you know, it all gets compressed as well. So I think that's, that's a win. Don't use more more bits than you need to. So I think that's the first thing to do. And you run into stuff like this. Hit owner dot 
index equals bolt oh it bold owner index now and the other one is century a owner century a so just following the compiler again yeah this this is typical like what I'm doing here is here's some code like what happened to collided with a scientist when queuing an event that says it's killed by scientists and we need to know was it a sent if it was a sentry um, the first parameter or argument here is uh, what was the potential hero who killed the sen sen uh, scientist because we got stats on that stuff if it was a sentry we don't care we just max it out so it, we know it's out of range for being a, a hero uh, if it was if it wasn't a sentry we do the in the owner index will be the hero index um yep so that's that's what that stuff is for and again this is just one of those makes me really happy one of those look at me look at me removing hierarchies you know it's owner underscore index instead of um having you know a struct in there so I mean, i'm liking this kind of stuff Look at how complex, look at how old you've become. What happens? Yeah, when a bolt hits a uh, hero, which is a so cylinder, that's the bounding area uh, volume I'm using. If you were max damage before, max system damage before the hit, sentry bolts will always hurt you and you got killed. If it was a hero bolt, depends on friendly fire, of course, could kill you, friendly fire, yeah, yeah. But if you weren't max system damages, sentry bolts or hero holds will cause random damage. Yeah, it's, yeah. Why, why did I go through that? That's just, yeah, you, you all know that. It is known that that's what happens. Bolt owner index equals owner.index. Ooh, typo. Or IntelliSenso. IntelliSenso is what it's called. Yeah, this is the thing that was exploding. Look at this wonderful C code. Um, instead of having template um, templates, I just doing it like a horrible voidy thing. I'm, I'm allocating from the pool a new new one, and this is this is the thing that exploded. Look at how amazing this code is. Um, this this one here is fun. This is a warning level four thing because this argument pool size only referenced in the assertions which get, which get compiled out in in release and then you get a warning as error pool size is not referenced so some of the fun fun funnesses of going hardcore with your warnings i'm not at warning all yet maybe that would be that would be really fun to get there what is this called Distance to nearest threat. Oh yeah. Um, you get a warning tracker, a warning tracker, a motion tracker ping. I think when uh, bullets fly by you. Yeah. So this is just rote stuff. No, no. Why is why? Is, uh, eh. What what is this code? Do you hear check position? Oh, don't look at this. This is experimental third-person camera stuff for replay mode. Secret. So what I'm interested in now that I got through it, got it through that refactoring. Um, is going back looking at the tests tests and seeing the difference in terms of 18032 yeah we saved 256 right right 18 Two eight eight minus eighteen zero three two two fifty six. We saved two fifty six bytes. That's 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 some 
some data. It's always good. Hope it works. <laughs> uh, post uh, compressing, compressing M bolt T. So that, that's a starting point, I think. Um, let's actually play the game and see how it goes. I always play, almost always play randomize all because, because it's, uh, it's shock full of challenging choices. Hard to think about your YouTube face while you're, you know, doing something else. Uh... De horror. Oh, I got a data core finder. That's cool. For those of you who are uh -oh, developers out there, you can you might notice that I'm all, uh, generally always running running in debug. Um, oh, he was killed. Um, running in debug, um, just you know, to as a sort of like a buffer in terms of performance. Hope you know, hoping that if it if it runs in debug in at 60 hertz, it, it should do that in release as well. Let's see, did we get any stats? Uh, 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 Space Beast killed five. Mm -hmm. Ammunition expended 111. It looks like it works, and why shouldn't it? Because that wasn't necessarily a very difficult change in any way. Cool. So I would say, um, man, I forgot the timer. Yeah, I'm going to say video end, and then I'll continue with this later.